Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now, we are speaking with Ogden Contemporary Arts. They support, support local artists and art right here. Happy to have Corey Anderson joining us here today to tell us more about their brand new building at the Monarch and about the mission at Ogden Contemporary Arts. Corey, thanks for joining us. Good morning. It's great to see you. This is exciting. Tell me about your new building. In fact, we were just talking about the Monarch with Craft Lake City's Holiday Market. So things are happening. It's a beautiful historic space. So tell me more. Yeah, we're really lucky to have um, built out this new tenant space at the Monarch. Traditionally, Ogden Contemporary Arts has done public art projects like murals and installations around the distressed areas of Ogden. We have a permanent home, we're thrilled about it. And tell me more about the organization, Ogden Contemporary Arts, how long you've been around and what you do to support local art. Sure, we are about eight years old and what we focus on is contemporary art, which is art that has a perspective and starts a dialogue. Um, we. Like I said, we've focused on public arts and now we're going to bring globally and nationally recognized arts artists here to Ogden. They're gonna interact with Utah local artists and we are just really excited to bring this kind of experience to locals and to people all around Utah. So we invite you to come and visit. Um, uh, we really focus on a couple of core values um, within the art sphere. So we aim to be inclusive. It's really important that our art starts to respect dialogue and has diverse representation and really unbiased opportunity for artists and people who want to engage with the art. Um, this shows up in the folks that we solicit to show their art and the shows that we engage with. Um, it also, you know, it also impacts the way that we outreach to community members that we want to come in and spend time in our gallery. Um, there's, there are a lot of people who don't feel like art is for them and would never dream of stepping foot in, in a high, high-end gallery. Um, so the OCA Center goes a long way towards breaking down that idea that art is a luxury item and it's not for everyone, it is. And um, every type of person benefits from engaging with contemporary art and that's what we're here for. And I feel like Ogden, like Park City, really values the art. There's a large population that is involved with the art. So I'm curious, speak to why Ogden really is the ideal place to have your organization and to have this space. Yeah, you know, I grew up in Park City, so um, I really, really loved the arts growing up and I love the community spirit that Park City has. It really is a place that looks after its own and Ogden is the exact same way. Um, we've got a newly designated Nine Rails Creative District. The city's made it a priority to make the arts have a home. Um, we're smack dab in the middle of that, and it's just, it's a really, really exciting moment. Um, we, we kind of joke within our organization, we say hashtag no starving artists. We create opportunities to pay artists for their art and their craft. So everyone who interacts with Ogden Contemporary Arts is getting paid, whether it's the art who's the artist who's showing with us, or the videographer who's filming promos, or the graphic designer who's laying out collateral. We are not asking anyone to eat their passion. Like people need to make a living wage, and we are here to support them in doing that. And coming up on Friday, you have a virtual opening of this new space. Also, you can attend in person. Tell me more about how you can participate. Sure, we partnered with Modern West Gallery in Salt Lake. They're a phenomenal contemporary arts gallery that represents artists from across the Intermountain West. Um, and they went ahead and loaned us three of their artists, Andrew Alba, Levi Jackson, and Shaylee Cooper to show for our, our first look kind of practice soft opening. We wanted to have a big, amazing party. We wanted to get the wine and cheese out and celebrate with our friends, but um, because of COVID, we felt like it'd be irresponsible. So we'll be doing a digital walkthrough that you can visit on our website, www.ogdencontemporaryarts.org, and you can visit in person. It's kind of the perfect COVID activity because we don't anticipate being terribly busy. So you'll probably have the gallery to yourself. Um, we do ask that you wear masks and we will be limiting the number of folks in the gallery at one time though. 
And tell me more about this building, the Monarch Building. It's called that because of the beautiful mural it has outside. It's also a historical space. Yeah, a couple of years ago, we commissioned this um, artist to do a series uh, within her um, series of murals. It's called the Migrating Mural. She does these beautiful art pieces on the migration paths of animals that are endangered. So Ogden is on the Monarch Butterfly Migration Path. So we commissioned this beautiful mural um, here at the Monarch Building. And the Monarch Building is really, really a cool historical feature of Ogden. So back in the day, in the early 20s, when you would come to, when you would drive your early model car to a hotel, by the time you got there, it would be totally trashed. So there were always kind of um, automobile garages next to hotels, which is the case for this building. So um, a really forward thinking developer here in Ogden, Thane Fisher, developed this Monarch building into a creative art space. Um, it's, it's on the historical register, so it's maintained all of its historical charm. I mean, right here in our building, we've got, you know, brick from the 20s and concrete block from the 20s, and it's just a very cool industrial vibe. Um, and kind of in honor of that history, our main gallery is the Dr. Ezekiel and Catherine Wattis Dumke Art Garage. And if someone comes and visits your space, you have some impressive exhibits featuring local artists. Yeah, we do. So right now we are featuring Constructed in partnership with Modern West Gallery. Um, and probably one of the coolest things about us is that we're free to the public. Um, like I said, we, we strive to be diverse and welcoming. So anyone who wants to come in here can come in here. It's not about a hushed space where you have to tiptoe around. This is a vibrant living space. Have a conversation, bring your kids, really engage with the art. Um, it's for everyone and it's not a luxury item. Everyone is welcome and we hope that we'll be welcoming some of you soon. Well, thank you so much, Corey Anderson, for joining us from Ogden Contemporary Arts. Exciting to hear about that new space, also about that opening both virtual and in person coming up on Friday, November 6th. If you want more information, just head to OgdenContemporaryArts.org. We'll be back with more right after this.